Hello everyone, and welcome back to Neblu Healthy. Today we're addressing a crucial topic for those managing diabetes, the role of fruits in your diet. Fruits, while generally beneficial for our health, can sometimes be a double-edged sword for those with diabetes. The natural sugars in some fruits can cause blood sugar levels to spike, making them less than ideal for a diabetic diet. Understanding which fruits to avoid can be key to maintaining stable blood sugar levels and overall well-being. Before we discuss the fruits to avoid, it's essential to understand how they can impact blood sugar levels for those with diabetes. Let's start with a basic concept, the glycemic index. This is a handy tool that ranks foods based on their effect on blood glucose levels. Foods with a high glycemic index can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar, while those with a lower index have a more gradual impact. Fruits, although packed with essential nutrients and fiber, contain natural sugars and therefore have a glycemic index. However, it's important to note that not all fruits are created equal. Some fruits have a higher glycemic index than others, leading to a more significant spike in blood sugar levels. For instance, fruits like watermelon and pineapple are high on the glycemic index, meaning they can cause a quick rise in blood sugar. On the other hand, fruits like cherries and peaches have a lower glycemic index, making them a better choice for those trying to manage their blood sugar levels. But remember, the glycemic index is not the only factor to consider. The amount of fruit you consume and the other foods you eat with it can also affect your blood sugar levels. So while fruits are a crucial part of a balanced diet, it's essential to choose wisely and pay attention to portion sizes. Now, let's explore the top five fruits to steer clear of if you're managing diabetes. Although refreshing and hydrating, watermelon has a high glycemic index, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. This may come as a surprise to many because watermelon is 92% water, but the remaining 8% is packed with fructose, a type of sugar that can send your blood glucose levels soaring if you're not careful. Now, this doesn't mean you need to banish watermelon from your diet completely. In fact, watermelon also contains beneficial nutrients like vitamins A and C, as well as antioxidants. It's all about portion control. A small slice of watermelon, about one cup diced, won't significantly raise your blood sugar levels. But if you start munching on half a melon, that's when you might run into trouble. Moreover, pairing watermelon with a protein or fat can help slow down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream. So if you're enjoying a slice of watermelon, consider pairing it with a handful of nuts or a slice of cheese. However, if you're looking for a sweet, juicy fruit that won't spike your blood sugar levels, berries might be a better choice. They're low in sugar, high in fiber, and packed with antioxidants. In conclusion, it's best to consume watermelon in moderation or opt for lower sugar alternatives. Remember, managing diabetes doesn't mean depriving yourself of the foods you love. It's about making smart choices and balancing your diet for optimal health. Pineapple is deliciously sweet but contains high amounts of natural sugars, making it unsuitable for individuals with diabetes. Now don't get us wrong, we adore pineapple. It's tart, it's tropical, and it can make you feel like you're on a beach vacation with every bite. But here's the catch. One cup of pineapple chunks has about 16 grams of sugar. That's more than what you'd find in a chocolate chip cookie. This high sugar content can lead to a sudden surge in blood glucose levels, especially if you're consuming pineapple on an empty stomach or in large quantities. This can be a concern for those managing diabetes as maintaining stable blood sugar levels is crucial for their health. Now let's talk mangoes. Ah, uh, the king of fruits, right? They're juicy, they're aromatic, and they're packed with nutrients. But like pineapples, mangoes also have a high sugar content. One medium-sized mango can contain up to 45 grams of sugar. That's almost twice as much as a can of soda. So does this mean you should avoid pineapple and mango altogether? Not necessarily. The key is moderation and balance. If you love these fruits, you don't have to eliminate them from your diet completely. Instead, consider consuming them in smaller portions. Pairing them with protein-rich or high-fiber foods can also help slow down the absorption of sugar and prevent sharp spikes in blood sugar levels. For example, you could add a few chunks of pineapple or mango to a salad with grilled chicken or tofu, or blend them into a smoothie with Greek yogurt and a handful of spinach. These combinations can help you enjoy the flavors you love while keeping your blood sugar levels in check. In conclusion, while pineapple and mango are undeniably delicious, their high sugar content can be challenging for those managing diabetes. It's advisable to enjoy these fruits sparingly or pair them with protein or healthy fats to mitigate their impact on blood sugar. Bananas are convenient and nutritious, 
but are also relatively high in carbohydrates and natural sugars. They are a fantastic source of potassium, vitamin C, and dietary fiber. However, their sugar content can pose a challenge for those managing diabetes. A medium-sized banana contains approximately 14 grams of sugar and can cause a significant spike in blood sugar levels. But it doesn't mean you have to completely remove bananas from your diet. The trick is to consume them responsibly. Opt for smaller, less ripe bananas as they contain less sugar. Additionally, pairing them with protein or healthy fats can slow down the absorption of sugar and prevent sudden spikes in your blood glucose levels. Now let's talk about grapes. They may be small, but they pack a punch in terms of sugar content. A cup of grapes contains about 23 grams of sugar. While this natural sugar is accompanied by fiber and other nutrients, eating a large quantity of grapes can still quickly elevate your blood sugar levels. But again, this doesn't mean you should avoid grapes entirely. Consuming them in moderation is key. A handful of grapes can be a sweet treat that doesn't derail your blood sugar management plan. And similar to bananas, pairing grapes with foods high in protein or fiber can help to slow the absorption of sugar, reducing the risk of blood glucose spikes. So, whether it's bananas or grapes, remember the golden rule of moderation. Monitor your body's response and adjust your intake accordingly. Diabetes management is not about deprivation, but about informed choices and balance. So go ahead, enjoy your fruits, but do so conscientiously. In conclusion, while bananas and grapes do have their sugar content to consider, they can still be part of a balanced diabetic diet when eaten in moderation and combined with protein or fiber-rich foods. It's essential to consume them in moderation and pair them with protein or fiber-rich foods. And there you have it, the top five fruits to avoid if you're diabetic. We've journeyed together through the vibrant world of fruits, highlighting the ones that might cause a spike in your blood sugar levels. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating these fruits, but rather understanding their effects and consuming them wisely. Let's take a quick recap. We began with watermelon, a quintessential summer fruit that, while hydrating, has a high glycemic index. This means it can lead to rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Then we moved on to pineapple, a tropical treat that is undeniably sweet, but is also high in natural sugars. Next, we ventured into the realm of mangoes. These tropical delights, while delicious, are packed with sugar and can cause significant fluctuations in blood sugar levels if not consumed sparingly. We then addressed bananas, a convenient and nutritious snack, but one that's high in carbohydrates and natural sugars. Finally, we discussed grapes. Despite their small size, these fruits pack a punch in terms of sugar content. Consuming even a handful of grapes can quickly elevate blood sugar levels. These fruits are not forbidden, but they should be consumed in moderation, paired with proteins or fiber-rich foods to balance their impact on blood sugar levels. Understanding the nutritional content of your food is a critical step towards managing your diabetes effectively. Fruits, while packed with essential vitamins and minerals, can also be high in sugars and carbohydrates, so it's crucial to make informed decisions about which ones to include in your diet and in what quantities. This knowledge empowers you to take control of your health, to navigate your food choices with confidence, and to better manage your diabetes. It's all about balance, moderation, and making the choices that best support your health and wellness goals. So which of these fruits surprised you the most? Did you expect to find them on this list? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so don't hesitate to share in the comments below. Remember, being mindful of your fruit intake and opting for lower sugar alternatives can help you better regulate your blood glucose levels and support your overall health. Thanks for joining us on this journey today, and we hope this information serves you well on your path to optimal health. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care. As we wrap up this enlightening journey through the world of fruits and diabetes, we'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button and join our Neblu Healthy community for more insightful health tips and discussions. If you found this video helpful or intriguing, please do us a favor and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family too. Your likes and shares help us continue to bring you valuable content, empowering you to take control of your health. And if you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments section below. We're always eager to hear from you. Thanks for your support. And remember, your health is your wealth. Until next time, stay healthy.